good evening. Part 2 of Chapter 1 of The Power of Awareness. We started yesterday. I started yesterday. And if you were here yesterday too, <laughs> you were not here but maybe you've seen the video, <clears throat> then it's we. Um, and before I go to the second part... I learned something so cool today. Um, I was listening to an interview that Greg Braden did. He wrote a couple of books, among others, The Divine Matrix. And it's really super interesting, this interview. You have to check it out. I will put the link down below. Um, Greg Braden is kind of the um, modern day Neville. This man is extremely intelligent and um, plus, so he, he has worked in the left-brained um, society for a long time. So he's extremely good in understanding a lot of things and explaining them in a way that also you and me, or maybe you're super smart, I'm, <laughs> I'm smart, but in a different way than uh, the Greg Bradens of this world. And he can explain everything in a way so that it makes sense to everyone. And he uh, actually experiences spontaneous healing, someone that spontaneously heals from cancer. And here's what he told about this experience, and you will hear more if you listen to this interview. Um, so what happened was someone, uh, got healed of cancer by doctors that do healing in a different way than we do in the West. Um, this happened in China and, and these doctors know how to pray correctly. Like how Neville teaches about prayer and prayer is just giving thanks for that, um, which you which you cannot see yet, but which you feel and believe that you already have. So this is what these doctors do. And what the most amazing thing was, what stood out in this uh, example, was that, that Greg said they saw what was happening. This lady had cancer, but they didn't judge it. They acknowledged it, that this was the truth now in this moment in time, or in that moment in time, but this is now and then is... Hmm? <laughs> Um, I'm digressing. They didn't judge it. They just felt with all of their heart that something else was true, which was the healing. So I'll put the link down below. Check out the interview. It's really, really, really cool. And if you want to understand more of this creating your own reality, which we do all day, every day, but how to do it consciously, <clears throat> then get as much information as you can and play with it and also take rests because your mind also needs a break to digest everything ah and i watched one more video about the basics of alchemy which is also super interesting because alchemy um is a very old teaching about how the world works and how to the most people know alchemy is Alchemy as how to turn lead into gold. Of course, it's much more than that. Um, yeah, I'll put the link down below of this video as well, because you might find it interesting. But now, the second part of the first chapter of the power of awareness. In case you've missed the first part, hey, I'll put the link down below too. So it's going to be a complete story in the um, description section. Um, mm -mm. Yeah. So this great discovery, of course, reveals that good or bad, man is actually the arbiter of his own fate. And that it is his concept of himself that determines the world in which he lives. And this concept of himself is his reactions to life. In other words, I also um, read this part yesterday, but it doesn't matter repeating. It doesn't hurt to repeat a little. <clears throat> in other words, if you're experiencing ill health, 
knowing the truth about cause, you cannot attribute the illness to anything other than to the, to the particular arrangement of the basic cause substance. An arrangement which was produced by your reactions to life and is defined by your concept, I am unwell. This is why you're told, let the weak man say, I am strong. So everything you are now, everything you see around you now in your life comes from a state. That's why I started this whole new series, The Power of Awareness, is that really describes it very well. Living in the, in the end of the wish fulfilled is nothing more, nothing less than inhabiting a state and staying there and also knowing what is a state. What is a state and what comes forth? Reactions come, come forth from a state. Your world around you, your relationships with yourself, with your partner, with your parents, with your friends, with strangers, all come forth from a state, your bank account. Okay, for by his assumption, the cause substance, I am, is rearranged and must, therefore, manifest that which its rearrangement affirms. This principle governs every aspect of your life, be it social, financial, intellectual, or spiritual. I am is that reality to which, whatever happens, we must turn for an explanation of the phenomena of life. It is I am's concept of itself that determines the form and the scenery of its existence. So it's actually what I just told you. So... One more time, it is I am's concept of itself, so what do you think of who you are, that determines the form and the scenery of its existence, which determines, so the who you think you are determines how everything in your life is at the moment. Everything depends upon its attitude toward itself, that which it will not affirm as true of itself cannot awaken in its world. So if you think I'm a rich person, then poorness will not appear in your world. If you think I'm a poor person, then richness will not appear in your world. If you think I am loved, I am wanted, I'm amazing, then what will you see in your life? Exactly. That is your concept of yourself, such as I am strong, I am secure, I am loved. <laughs> this is crazy. I didn't know this was coming determines the world in which you live. In other words, when you say, I am a man, I am a father, I am an American, you are not defining different I am's, you are defining different concepts or arrangements of the one cause substance, the one I am. Even in the phenomena of nature, if the tree were articulate, it would say, I am a tree, an apple tree, a fruitful tree. When you know that consciousness is the one and only reality, conceiving itself to be something good, bad or indifferent, and becoming that which it conceived itself to be, you are free from the tyranny of second causes. Free from the belief that there are causes outside of your own mind that can affect your life. In the state of consciousness of the individual is found the explanation of the phenomena of life. If man's concept of himself were different, everything in his world would be different. So if you want your life to be different, check yourself. What are you, what are you saying to yourself? And this is so cool, people, because we have the power in our hands. We can change everything in our world to really know this and feel this and work with this. His concept